This is the good stuff. I asked for pictures of your systems and you guys responded. Uh, and I gotta say, I've done this before, but this batch, well, first of all, there's so much, I couldn't squeeze it all into one episode. So part two will show up tomorrow. But this is all mixed up. It's, it's vintage, it's new, it's DIY, it's headphones, it's home theater, it's tubes, it's solid state, it's everything. <laughs> everything. The best of everything is all there in your in your systems. So uh, I I am humbled. I am truly humbled by what I saw from all your all your stuff. So I'm going to show you this first batch today, and stay tuned to the end because it's it just keeps changing. Uh, and then come back tomorrow to see see more. So anyway, let's get to today's stuff. Okay, first up, Paul, and he's from Portland. He has. Voice of the Theater A7 cabinets with Alltech drivers and other stuff. Pretty cool. A B&W 600 subwoofer, Macintosh electronics, uh, well, amps, and a Luxman preamp. Turntables are Technics SP10 Mark II with a custom plinth. Uh, Technics EPA 100 tone arm. Decca Garrett Brothers gold cartridge. Okay, next up, Bill. Bill is another horn guy. Well, Bill and his wife, they're from North Carolina. He's got a big room, 15 by 28, with a 10-foot ceiling. The speakers are Alltech Valencia 846As with custom locally built stands. The amp is a Pass Labs XA 30.8. The preamp is an Esoteric C03. CD player, Sony SCD777ES. Phono preamp is a Parasound Hollow JC3 Plus. Actually, I use the same one. And turntable is a Garrard 301. The custom plinth, Ortofon TA210 tone arm. And the cartridge is a Soundsmith Zephyr Star MIMC. Pretty good. Next up. David. He has a tidy little system with a Fluence RT85 turntable, Yamaha CDS300 CD player, Yamaha RS202 receiver. Speakers are ELAC debut reference, and he has some headphones, Grado SR320Es. When I saw Dan's speakers in this picture, I, I didn't remember what they were, but they're Infinity RS 4.5s. Ah, it's been a very long time since I saw those or heard them, but they sure look impressive. Uh, he has a turntable, a B and O turntable 4002 with a Soundsmith 20 CL cartridge, uh, an Adcom GFA 565 preamp, uh, an ESS. 500, 250 watt per channel feeding those speakers. Here we have Mitchell's system and a lot of room treatment going on there. Uh, but the speakers are Revel Concerta F35s. He has a DIY sub with active eight inch and two passive radiator eights. For DIY acoustic treatments, he's using Owens Corning 703 uh, for first reflections, then there's four inch ones in the corners behind the listing position where you can't see them. Uh, there's, there was a whole lot of problems with this room, but he seems to think that they removed some of the mud from the overall sound and it makes the sound huge. 100% recommend room treatment, he says, but he hasn't explored DSP yet, but he probably will. So Willem has quite a system here, and um, it's a gorgeous picture. Thanks for that. And I'm just going to read off this list of uh, components here, because I don't even know what most of them are. So there's a Kronos Sparta, I think that's turntable, with a ZYX Omega cartridge. Then there's a Clear Audio Solutions AMG Wood with a HANA SL cartridge. A Sony HAP Z1 ES high-res player, an RCAM CD. S50 SA CD player, a Sony MDJA20 ES mini disc player, an SPL Audio Phonos RIAA preamp, 
and the speakers. Oh yes, the speakers are PMC25 slash 24. That's a hell of a system. Mike Hunter uh, went for the corner version of a room setup, which is definitely works in some rooms. This, the speakers are Sander Sound 10C Electrostatics with a PS Audio Stellar Gain Cell DAC preamp. Turntable is a VPI Scout 2 with a Soundsmith Zephyr uh, MIMC cartridge. It's pretty popular around here with you guys. A PS Audio Stellar Phono Stage, which he loves. DBX Venue 360 Crossover EQ. A Merrill Audio Thor Monoblocks for the woofers. Aragon Palladium 1K Monoblocks for the panels. No room treatments yet, but this corner placement really helps. Nice shot, Amir. He has Gamut L7 speakers. The amp is an Electro yet DMB120. The preamp is an Electro yet 4.7. The CD Blu-ray player is an Oppo 95. The DAC is a Hegel HD 11. Thomas has taken a different approach. He's using a Pioneer SX580 receiver from 1979, pushing Bose 4.2s from 1985, the year he graduated high school. He thinks this pairing is really good for filling the room with a diffuse sound which is great for small gatherings and parties. Next, he has a Yamaha RX V870 powering his newest find, Sirwin Vega DX9 speakers. The, the cat, by the way, is Oliver, and he was listening to The Clash just before he took this picture. In the cabinet, there's a Yamaha RV1103 that's sending signal to the Polk T50 speakers. Bruce has given me uh, a, big, a big job to do here describing his homebrew DIY system. And I can't describe everything in it. I'm gonna try and hit some high points here. But the power amplifiers are five watt single-ended triode amps with Western Electric 300B. The preamplifier is passive with a transformer volume control built by Bruce. Phono preamp was again built by Bruce, uses a mess of tubes in there. I mean, a mess in the best possible way. The turntable is not built by Bruce. It's an EMT 927A with a 16 inch EMT tone arm. The speakers, those big horns, are all Tech Lansing A5s with multicellular horns, etc., etc. I can't go through all of that. The CD player is a Meridian Model 500 transport, and he's using a shit Jagersel DAC. Vim sent this picture. He's from Belgium, and he bought this Technics rack when he was 16 years old in 1978. Uh, from top to bottom, there's a Technics 1506 reel-to-reel -reel DAC. Uh, a ST, these are all Techniques. Uh, an ST9600 AM FM tuner, an SU8600 integrated amplifier, then there's an SL1610 direct drive automatic turntable with an Ortofon 2M blue cartridge, there's also an RS686DS portable cassette deck, a Technics SB700 linear phase speakers. I remember hearing those back in the day. I really like them. What is it? I know there's a lot of Mac there. I can see that there's a Sonus Faber Cremona speaker. Uh, and he tells me that he plays three sets of speakers simultaneously with room correction and electronic crossover and equalizing and timing correction. It's, it must be amazing, I, but I can't imagine what it is. <laughs> but it's cool. Dave has two of everything. He says Dave's from Portland, Oregon, and his calico cat is named Charlie. Charlie's a girl. He's into twos. That's why I doubled the picture. Uh, he has two headphone amps. He has a Mastrop THX AAA linear headphone amp and an Antique Labs 
MG Head OTL tube headphone amp. The headphones are Sennheiser Mastrop HD 6XX, great headphone. Mastrop's Fostex TX0 is a planar magnetic. And then there's also Bayer Dynamic DT880, the 600 ohm version of that. Ian's from Melbourne, Victoria, that's Australia. Uh, he has a Project 2 Experience SB, I guess that's a turntable, with an Ortofon Cadenza Blue. Hey, that's the cartridge I'm using right now. He has a Premier CD32 CD player, an Exposure Classic 35 amplifier, and a Project Tube Box DS Phono Preamp. The speakers, in case you were wondering, are Vienna Acoustic Mozart SE. Dominic, he's from Toronto, Canada. He's 60 years old. He started getting records uh, when he was a little kid. Okay. So Dominic's system includes uh, Tecton Pendragon speakers, a Parasound A23 power amp, Rega Cursor 3 preamp, JVC QL A75 turntable with an Ortofon 2M Blue cartridge, a Tillsbury Domino Phono preamp, an NAD 516 BEE CD player, and a Technics ST 3700 tuner. So Steve has a desktop system there with a Fluence RT80 turntable, ELAC debut, B 5.2 speakers sitting on Orlec isolation pads, and he has a Scott R36S receiver. And then there's an 8 inch powered subwoofer under the desk that he only uses occasionally. Hey, Gilbert, Gilbert's from Montreal, Canada, and he sent a few pictures, but I just want to show you this one because of this music collection is so. <laughs> Impressive. The speakers, by the way, are Focal Chorus 726. Arvin's approach is a tad different. He wanted each piece in his system to cost less than a thousand dollars. He has two Audio Research D240 Mark II solid state amplifiers in bridge mono configuration, so they're 480 watts channel. There's an Audio Research LS7 tube line stage, an Audio Research PH3 phono preamp. I had one of those back in the day. The speakers are Teal CS 3.5s. There's a Blue Sound Vault 2 Ripper, a Denon DJ VL12 direct drive turntable with a Shure. M97E cartridge. We're going to close out this episode with Mike. Mike, there you see him. He's reflected in his TV, taking the picture of his four, count them four, Klipsch Icon KF26 tower speakers, his Klipsch Icon KC25 center. He's got a Klipsch 450 subwoofer. The towers are bi-amped and bi-wired. And his receiver for all this is a 2016 Pioneer Elite SC99. Okay, so we're done for today. Thanks for watching. See you later, Mike. Uh, but see you guys here back tomorrow on Sunday for another batch of new, vintage, DIY, uh, home theater, whatever. All, I mean, it, there's so much. And the, the, the batch tomorrow, if it's possible, is even better than the one for today. Oh, and by the way, there are playlists for more of these slideshows of viewer systems. So if you don't have enough today, you can just look through that playlist. And there's playlists for speaker reviews and headphone reviews and music reviews and electronics reviews. Tons and tons of stuff. Anyway, I'm, I'm tired now. I got to lay down. So see you back here tomorrow. Same time, same station. Bye.